I'm here with seven of the most popular YouTubers in backpacking and on this trip, I'm gonna expose them. YouTubers on this trip are Jeff Pelletier, trail runner, fast packer, and fellow Canadian, Eric Hansen, suave, serious, and known for spitting in the face of ultralight. We have Sean from the channel Syntax77, Miranda Goes Outside, formerly Miranda in the Wild, kind of pulling a Twitter X thing there. Gordon from the channel Grim Granite, he's Dan Becker's former editor, and I have a feeling might be undercover hilarious. Bryce Newbold, going to this, I thought Bryce was the coolest person on this trip. Elena Osborne, I don't know much about Elena other than the fact that she made one of the best PC films of all time, and I'm hoping for an equally good film from this trip. I'm following and observing them in order to discover their secrets and expose the weirdest things they do on trail. So why am I doing this? Well, I'm pretty weird. I wear purple pants, use a pink spoon, I sing and dance on trail, and I sometimes put these other YouTubers on a pedestal as these like pro YouTubers, pro backpackers, and I, I just wanna, weird, weirdness loves company. I just wanna like see and hope that they're kind of as weird as me and maybe, maybe as weird as you. You guys let me know in the comments who you think is gonna be the weirdest YouTuber backpacker on this trip. The reason we're all here is because Outdoor Vitals flew us out here for a hike, get together, showcase some of their products, and um, I haven't told Tayson yet, but what I'm doing for this video is I'm just follow following everybody and seeing who does kind of the weirdest things on trail. Who do you think uh, is, is gonna do the weirdest things? Oh. Everyone here is really cool, but everyone like that creates content, they're, they've got like little quirks, so that's a tough one. My prediction, a weirdest thing, I'm gonna go with Gordon. Gordon. She's got a vibe right now. Yeah. yeah. Funniest thing, I'll go with Bryce. Bryce, okay. That's, that's I like I like those guests because Gordon might be a flat like an underdog. It's like it might be one of those where like it happens over there when no one's watching. But yeah. There's gonna he's gonna do something. We're all a little bit strange it's, in our own way. So it's hilarious to be here. <laughs> Just to be a fly on the wall here is, is hilarious. I'm here with Brigham, who's the lead designer at Outdoor Vitals. So I haven't told anybody, but I'm doing a video about who the weirdest backpacking YouTuber is. Just watch everybody and see who does the weirdest thing. Who do you think's gonna take the cake? Bryce might be on the radar. Um, maybe you. Maybe. Oh, interesting. <laughs> so I got two of the people that I've been noticing right behind me here. So Miranda obviously has some things that she does. I, one of the things that I noticed is that she kind of like narrates as she hikes. So she'll like do like sound effects and like Come on, little peeps. that kind of thing as she's doing things like plop, plop, as she like walks. So that's, that's been interesting. Then we got serious Jeff right there. And what I'm curious about with Jeff, and I'll ask him about this is, he has trekking poles, but he just carries them. Very curious. So I took what Tayson said to mind right now, and I'm following Gordon. We'll see. I think I figured it out for Jeff. It's so that he can use his selfie stick with his GoPro. Can't do that with two trekking poles. <laughs> we said Eric coming from down there. Not sure what he was doing. Eric was a top contender for me for weirdest, probably because ginger hair, but I feel like there's just like something lurking beneath that professional TV persona that he has going on. You have to admit though, Eric Hansen's a pretty good name for, for TV. What's up everybody? I'm Eric Hansen with Backpacking TV and Epic Trails. He also does a pretty phenomenal David Attenborough impression, which he's been busting out on the trail. Here in the Southwest of Utah, a dry and arid desert. Hoodoos, buzzards, and more. Life here moves at a different pace. <laughs> what do you think about the trail so far, Eric? The trail is amazing. The company kind of blows. You always stand next to cliffs? Well, I'm starting to second guess it now that you asked me that. Yeah, I'm like over here. <laughs> We're gaining some pretty good elevation here. <laughs> and uh, 
hopefully there's some water on top of this mountain because we're all running low and we're in the desert. People are running out of water soon, probably, so. What do you got? How much water you got? A liter, liter left. Yeah. Not enough for a day and a half. Yeah, or day use. Yeah, we better find some water. There's Sean, <laughs> standing near cliffs again. Worried about that guy. Gotta keep an eye on around these cliffs. I think I can make it through this without an injury. I'm just looking at Sean's pack here. And he, I think he has a full plaid shirt tucked in the back here. I don't know if he's gonna try and make a pitch to Jeff and I to join Canada or or what, but it also seems pretty heavy. I'll have to ask him about that a little bit later. So Eric's trying to get open this package. I've already ripped the top. This is the seal. It just missed he it. He tried pulling down at the, like, underneath, yeah, yeah. like, yeah. You got team effort. Again. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was pretty cool right there. You wanna give me your best lone man on the mountain, but like together. Eric. Oh yeah. No fart on your camera. <laughs> so we're kind of lost right now. Tayson's just wandering. This, this is what happened when I went on a trip with Tayson last time. Between him and Onyx backcountry, we got a little lost. We're lost! <laughs> Everyone just scattered. Don't know where we are, where we're going. I don't, I don't like that we're losing elevation after gaining all that elevation. Everyone's panicking, talking to their cameras, saying their, their last goodbyes. Yeah, we're, we're in it now. So we did encounter this beautiful waterfall and pool. Everyone's going to be filling up on water here because we're going to be dry camping tonight. Hopefully uh, there's enough water capacity for everyone to, to do their thing and, and use bidets. My mission and Miranda's mission on this trip is to convert everyone to backcountry bidet, but it might be tough how to dry camp. But we only got a couple miles left. I'm going to keep watching, keep observing, and then we'll see, we'll see at camp, I think. I think that's where a lot of the, the weirdness is going to come out, but everyone's so nice. It's, it's amazing. It's cool to see the personalities that you see on YouTube translate just into real life and real conversations it's it's a lot of fun there's eric off trail again just wandering around come boys our vile see it works for everything wow. asparagus <laughs> Poop. It's scat. Scat. What are you doing? What are you doing? It smells. No. Yeah, it makes me dizzy just looking at it. Makes no sense. <laughs> so this is where we're stopping to camp. We'll uh, keep an eye on everybody and see see what happens here. Could get interesting. I'm dropping my pack right here, and then we'll go uh, go spy on everybody. See what they got going on. I'm particularly curious to see who's the most like OCD or particular about campsite selection. I think we got Jeff over there. Oh yeah, he's scoping out the lines, checking for how flat it is. Miranda seems to be wandering the most. She was over there. Now she's over here. We'll, we'll keep we'll keep an eye, see where she ends up. We got Eric over here setting up. Got some rock there. He's gonna have good views, but not quite sure about the tent site selection. Elena's over there. That looks like a lot of slick rock, which might be hard with a trekking pole tent. Sean here is also a nice view area, but maybe a little bit of a tough spot to get stakes in. Oh, he saw me. I got my camp pretty pretty much set up. I am using one of my tracking poles in order to hold up this camera, so I'm gonna have to go back later and, and put that in the tent so it doesn't look like it's in shambles. But what I'm excited about is to to see see what camp life is like with these YouTubers. Like who who doesn't brush their teeth? Because it's gonna be at least one who doesn't brush their teeth. Are there any kind of weird pooping stuff that they do? Or any like anything that they brought that's just like a little bit different like does, does anyone have a stuffed animal or like a blankie or something like that We're, we'll go around and we'll kind of creep on everyone's uh setups and see see if we can find something we got elena over here there's a lot of mud cool. mud <laughs> mud on your tent Did there's they... a bit of macgyvering going on um as you can see there are zero stakes used in this process just purely rocks <laughs> Look, looks pretty good is this is this your your sleep system eric yeah yeah so i don't use a sleeping bag um, I'm a really minimalist guy. I just wrapped myself in this and uh, you know 
It's kind of like R18, and uh, that's all I need. You'll be good. Yeah. yeah. I'm good out here. I think this is Gordon's tent right here. Oh, yeah. Let's go see what he's got going on. Not much in there. No, not yet. Did, did, did you pack anything fun? Not this trip, because I flew here, and that's not the essence of this trip. It's ultralight, so I'm a little bit out of my element. My... Oh, oh, ultralight, but you got an algae over there. That's true. Oh, he's going to rag on the algae. Ultralight yeah. felony right there. Yeah. Ten demerits for that. How much does this weigh empty? 256 grams. That's why I had such a hard time today. That's, that's why. That's yeah. exactly why. Yep. <laughs> Been able to find everyone. No idea where Miranda ended up. I bet Jeff has something cool in there. Looked, looked pretty minimal. Pretty on brand. Huh? Is this where you sit up, Miranda? Yeah. Right in the middle of the party. Right in the middle of the party. And I was really far away, and then I was like, oh, the ground's too soft. But also, too far away. Do you, do you, bring, do you bring anything fun with you? Absolutely. Okay. I'm trying to find if anyone has, like, a stuffed animal. Oh, I didn't bring a stuffed animal, but I did bring a game. Are there winners? Oh, absolutely. Okay. I, I kind of thought, you yeah. know what? I feel like a Miranda game would be like, everyone wins. I think I'm the only one who brought a chair. So this, this might get awkward. So we got Gordon's pot, cup, yeah, right here. Absolutely. How many milliliters is that? I have no idea. I feel like it's like three, 300 milliliters. You think so? I'm taking away five demerits oh, oh, nice. due to how ultralight that pot, this is that pot ultra, is. Like, yeah, it's, it's the lightest pot here. That's such a tiny cup, <laughs> mug, pot. <laughs> New pant model. <laughs> I think these, these guys are getting the weirdo award. Look how close they're to that cliff. If you fell, you'd die. Here's Eric again up there being a crazy maniac. If he slips, he's dead. It's only 15, 20. We just got some awesome views off the Mesa here of the sunset and the, and the valley down below. Everyone's kind of loose, having fun, cracking jokes. It's, it's, been, it's been great. And definitely seeing some, uh, some personality come through, which is awesome. I'm going to keep watching people, see if any more kind of weird things come out. I think my favorite so far has maybe been Gordon's tiny, tiny cup or Miranda just kind of like adding sound effects as she walks. This is what she does. She'll be walking. She'll be like, pew, pew, pew. Yeah, yeah. And just, just adding little sound effects every step. It's pretty hilarious. If nothing weird happens for the rest of the night, then I'll see you guys in the morning and we'll uh, check in on everyone's poo situation. Good morning. Just getting packed up here. We're going to eat breakfast. I just watched probably the most beautiful sunrise of my life. A whole bunch of the other people on the trip got to see it as well. And there's definitely some, some full eyes out there. It was, it was that beautiful. It was cool to experience it with everybody. As I was walking around this morning, there's definitely some, some snores. I know last night, um, there's some people talking about night terrors as well. So if you're going to go on a trip with one of these YouTubers, maybe, uh, maybe be a little bit careful and set your tent up a ways away from them. Everyone's just kind of packing up, having breakfast. ReadyWise supplied all the meals for this trip. They're ReadyWise Pro Meals, and they're, they're delicious. So definitely go check those out. Thanks, ReadyWise. If I had to give some awards for weirdness, I don't even know where I'd begin. I, my entire like concept of weirdness has completely changed on this trip. Everyone's a little bit weird, and it's just their, their personality, and I love it. Everyone just has their little quirks and unique, unique aspects that makes them who they are and it makes things interesting and that really shone through on this trip. I think everyone's a little dehydrated because Outdoor Vitals didn't let us know that this is gonna be a dry camp. So not a lot of people brought a ton of water and uh, I don't think there's gonna be a lot of pooping happening this morning, but there has been a lot of poop talk, mostly led by Miranda and I, surprise, surprise. This has been an amazing trip getting to know everybody. Went, went into it kind of looking for different weirdnesses and there's definitely some, let me know in the comments what was kind of the strangest thing that, that we came across. But really like weirdness is, is personality. And something that might be surprising for you guys is that what you see on YouTube is what you get in person. Everyone is super authentic and it's, it's kind of crazy seeing the personality traits and quirks that I watch on YouTube, just like you guys come out in real life. It's, it's, it was pretty interesting and everyone's just so nice, so fun. Such a great trip. It was really nice of Outdoor Vitals to facilitate this and bring us all together. It wouldn't have happened otherwise. And just, yeah, just really cool to kind of talk with everybody, see how everyone does things and such a fun experience. If you guys are interested in a video where I did, did with two other YouTubers, four day winter camping trip, go check out this video right up in the corner. 
it was a, one of the most intense trips I did, but also one of those trips where camaraderie and kind of like teamwork was, was the name of the game.